Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. In this video I'm gonna showcase three very compact yet super powerful fast charging power banks from iNew. And I'm gonna take the chance to talk a little bit about power delivery and show you what kind of devices these power banks will allow you to charge. And I see that a lot of people around me are not really putting too much thought when choosing a power bank. They don't even know there are differences. They go to the convenience store and they buy something basic. At the end of the day it does its job but if you have a ton of devices like I do and also big capacity devices, laptops, drones and even phones nowadays come with 5000, 6000 milliamps batteries. Charging them with a puny 10 watt output takes quite a bit of time. And in the last 10 years we saw a lot of advances in charging technology. Not only the speed you can charge something at but also the amount of capacity you can cram into the same package. This for example is a 10 year old power bank and it was a good one back when I got it. It was a fast charging one because regular ones were like 5 watts of charging so if something takes an hour this thing has 10 watts of charging so it takes half an hour to charge something. And in the beginning USB fast charging was mostly for smartphones and every company had their own proprietary protocol. You had Qualcomm Quick Charge, SuperVOOC, Samsung fast charge and everyone was battling with the other and they weren't really intercompatible. But after a few years of proprietary technology one standard unified them all the USB-C type connector and also the power delivery charging protocol. And the beauty about the open source power delivery protocol is that USB-C cables have a chip inside and they can talk to the devices you connect them to. So you connect it to the charger, you connect it to the device getting charged and they can understand what's connected and they can negotiate the maximum amount of power this thing can charge at. And this protocol allows for sending a lot more power to compatible devices up to 48 volts to 140 watts of charging which is mind-blowing and you can start charging much bigger things like laptops at full speed, use them while you charge them and all with this one cable. And now that you have a little bit of background you can understand why I'm impressed with these iNew power banks. We have three models here, the iNew P62, the P63 and the P64 and all of these come in two variants. The bigger one is a little bit cheaper and the smaller one is a little bit more expensive. Here I have the smaller version, they have the same specs, same capacity but they are crazy tiny for the power they hold. The P62 is 20,000 milliamps and can charge up to 65 watts of power in this super tiny box. The P63 is slightly thicker but it has 25,000 milliamps and it has 100 watts power output. The P64 is a little bit flatter but taller. It has the same 25,000 milliamps of capacity but it can output up to 140 watts of power. They all come in cardboard boxes and are provided with a very nice pouch for carrying and also with a compatible USB-C power delivery cable. The P62 and P63 are very similar. They have this kind of soft touch material, they have a button on the side, when you press it it's gonna show the leftover battery on the screen. Both models come with two USB-C and one USB-A, maximum 18 watts of power. If you connect two cables the power is not gonna be the maximum, it's gonna split. And at the back of the devices you have reported all of the possible wattage combinations you can use. The P64 has again the same layout, it has of course a little bit more output power at 140 watts and these are the power combinations you can use. The screen is a little bit more advanced, press again to visualize the remaining power left but when you start charging something two other screen turn on the first one indicates how much power is going out the central one is the remaining capacity and this one is how many hours this charger can go at this power output. If you press the button for two seconds it goes back to easy mode so you don't have all of those specs showing up. All of these power banks are good for travel they can be brought on planes they are below the 100 watt hour limits most air companies have. The P63 and P64 are very close to that limit at 92 watt hours so they are among the biggest power banks you can carry on a plane and also you get three years of warranty. These power banks also charge very quickly, the P62 45 watts input charge, the P63 
65 and the P6480 watts of input charge. On all of them you need to use the main port for charging and you can use the secondary port for pass-through charge. So maybe you are traveling, you only have one outlet plug, you can plug one end on the power bank, the other end to your device, maybe your phone, you go to sleep and the next morning both your phone and the power bank will be charged. And I have selected a few devices so I can show you a few use cases for these power banks. And actually all three power banks can charge everything you see on the table, including the 16 inch MacBook. But there are some differences. I'm gonna start from the most commonly charged device, a smartphone. Usually they range around 4000, 5000 milliamps. With the P62 you can charge them for four, five times. With the other two you can charge them for five, six times even. Let's connect it to this phone and I already know sadly that OnePlus didn't put the power delivery on this phone, but still we have some form of quick charging, 18 watts. It's not a lot, but it has its own proprietary cable and uh, I don't have a power delivery compatible phone yet, sadly. Then we have this Windows tablet that I use to configure my drones and this thing takes minimum 45 watts input. So it has been very hard to charge it with a power bank. All three of these power banks will be able to charge it. This a couple of times and the other two three times. And boom, 45 watts of charging. And finally we have the M3 Max 16 inches. This has a very big battery inside and also it consumes a lot of power. I am stress testing the CPU and the GPU together so I am consuming the most amount of power. And the P62 is charging it at 65 watts. But of course when you are taxing the system like this it's also gonna use a little bit of its own battery and the percentage is going down while I am charging it. And that's why it's better to use these other two chargers. While you are running heavy loads like you are editing videos and stuff like that, these chargers are better. I'm now using the P63, is outputting about 100 watts, it's actually 92.3, and it depends on the charge of the battery. And now with the P64 we don't need the screen anymore, we are still outputting 93.5, I even tried connecting it to the MagSafe. I have now connected also the other laptop and we are drawing 124 watts with both of them. If you double press on the button you can check what port is doing. So the port 1 is outputting 93 watts and the port 2 is outputting 30 watts to the laptop. And now I'm gonna show you a few examples about drones. Starting out from this uh, USB-C LiPo battery charger. I'm gonna make a video about them because I have collected a lot. This one can take, from ISDT, can take up to 240 watts of power. So the bigger the power bank, the faster the charging. I'm gonna start using this one to show you charging a normal 1500 6S LiPo. And actually you can charge a LiPo like this about three times with these two power banks and about a couple of times with this one. We are drawing 117 watts and the screen is reporting 119. So we are drawing a ton of power into this battery and it's gonna charge super, super quick. I don't advise you charging at six amps a battery like this unless you are really, really on a hurry. 4S battery, 720 milliamps, you can charge it for about nine times with these two chargers and about six, seven with this other one. Let's check out the batteries of the Mini 3 and 4, Avata 2 and Mavic 3. So the Mini 3 and 4 charges at maximum 30, 35 watts. So all of these chargers are gonna be perfect for it. And you're gonna be able to charge three, four batteries, three with these and four with this other one. The Avata 2 charges at 60 watts. So you can use all of these three, no problem, full speed. And you're gonna be able to charge about two and a half and three batteries with the other two. The Mavic 3 is a much bigger battery, it charges at maximum 100 watts and these two are gonna be much better for it and charge at full speed. You can charge one battery with one of these and 1.3, 1.4 batteries with the other two because this battery is 70 watt hours. And that's all for today, as always remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about these power banks and also what's your favorite. I feel like my favorite is gonna be the P63 because it still has 
basically the same capacity as the big one, still very fast charging at 100 watt, but look how freaking compact it is. You pop it in a backpack and you have energy for all day. And if you want to buy something, click on the links in the description below. Many times you find discounts and also clicking on them, you help my channel a lot. Stay safe and happy charging.